Hi, how you doing? Good to see you again. You too. You good? Taxi driver. Okay. How you doing? I'm Brian from Weedonopolis. Good to see you again. You Thank you for coming. Uh, just a few questions. The, the DC animated movies and TV shows, it, it seem to be a good mix of original material and adapted material. And how do you go about choosing what's, with, what gets to choose, what goes into uh, a movie, adapted or original? Um, it's not an exact science. A lot of it, we're just kind of uh, flying by the seat of our pants. Uh, we we literally have like a weekly conference call with our folks at DC Comics and with the, the home video people, where we talk about where we're at now, the, the things that are in production, and what we might want to do in the future. And uh, so, you know, periodically we'll say, hell, you know, we're getting a little, getting a little, you know, the larder's getting a little empty. We need to start thinking about future projects. And then we start throwing out ideas. Oh, well, what about this project? And what, what about this character? And what about this storyline from the comics or whatever? Um, in this particular instance, uh, All-Star Superman came up as a possibility actually years and years ago when we first started doing these DTVs. And at the time, I was looking at it like, well, okay, I love the comic. I love it flat out. Um, it's a very beloved story. Right? Yeah. And I mean, this was like when the comic was still being serialized before it had, before it had even been finished. Um, <clears throat> and at the time, all I could see was problems. All I could see was it's really, really episodic. There's, you know, it's not, it doesn't really have a straight through line. There's all these different individual episodes that are great in amongst themselves, but each one of them is almost a mini movie. Um, also, at the time when we first started this whole initiative, we were deliberately trying really hard to get like a PG-13, you know, type entertainment to, to appeal to older fans. And as much as I love All-Star Superman, it's kind of determinedly old-fashioned in a weird kind of way. So I, at the time, I didn't think, okay, this isn't really hip and edgy. So maybe we shouldn't go this way. But then after a number of years, after a number of years, we've done all these other things. We said, let's not worry so much about the rating. And it's a great comic, and of course, you know, the comic had been collected. And then, fortunately, we, Wayne, Wayne McDuffie was available to do the script, and he saw exactly how to condense the 12 issues down into 70 minutes, and away we went. So you're happy with the result? I'm ecstatic with it. I, I think it's honestly, I think it's our best movie. I think it's the best one we've made. Now, coming on another tech, is there anything you flat out rejected? Any ideas for movies that you said no way? Oh, there's tons of them, but I'm not going to say which oh, ones really? they were. Oh, really? You won't say? I was hoping. No, 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 no. Well, I'll, I'll give you one, and this is this is not to disparage the source material, but fans all the time keep saying, oh, when are you going to do Kingdom Come? And I'm thinking, well, there's no really... Doing Kingdom Come in 2D animation doesn't make any sense because that's a big part of the appeal of that book is the Alex Ross art, which looks like, you know, like a live action movie. So it's like the only way to do Kingdom Come right is to kind of either do it in live action or really, really good CG, but even that's got a problem because really realistic CG always creeps me out, you know, they look like robots. So it's like, you know, but doing it in 2D just doesn't doesn't make any sense. So that's so that's one that's not we're not going to be doing it anytime soon. Now we're a Whedon centric site, so I gotta say we're all oh, awesome. very, we're very excited about hearing about Nathan Fillion as the Green Lantern, which because we all wanted that for the live action one, sadly. So how did that come about? Because a lot of people want to know how that happened. Because you've worked with him before on Justice League and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um. It was just a matter of just throwing that names around and somebody said oh you know have we overused Nathan too much and I went oh you can never overuse Nathan no. so he'd be perfect for Hal and it was like he was available one we had I'll tell you this is a funny story <laughs> while we were recording his ADR for it he's in there in the recording booth and we see him pick up his phone and aim it at the, at the, the TV screen and take a picture and we thought what the hell is he doing so then he tells us he goes he goes, he goes, I, goes I, just, I just got an email from Ryan Reynolds and I can't remember exactly what the, what the deal was, but he, some some mutual, I don't remember who, some, somebody who does a service for, for Nathan was also doing a service for Ryan, like say his mechanic, uh, for the sake of the story. And he was, oh, and, and then the message from Ryan said, okay, I, I'm, I'm using your mechanic, I think I'm going to keep him. And so Nathan took a picture of the screen, which happened to be a shot of Green Lantern, and he emailed it back to him saying, yeah, well, I, I'm working on Green Lantern, I'm going to keep him. So it was kind of funny. Speaking of Green Lantern, you have a new animated series yeah. coming out. What can you tell us about that? Um, it's I'm, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic about it. CG is a whole new world for us, um, and uh, um, so it's it's really all about trying to make 
the things that I find limitations about CG actually work for us, we turn take, turn the negatives into a plus. And so far, the, 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 the test footage and stuff that we're seeing from the Overseas Studio is looking really promising, so I have my fingers crossed that it's going to be a really great show. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And you also have Batman, Batman Year One coming Batman out. Year One will be coming out, I think, later this year. Yeah, we, get the, we start getting the footage back from that. Um, I think next month. Okay. So. Are you working with Kevin Conroy? Am I? That's what that's what IMDb said. It's almost like okay. Don't believe anything you read on IMDb. I don't believe everything, but I'm just I, I had to do research, so that's that's what I found. Okay. You should know better. IMDb is as, sorry, is, as, is as bad as Wikipedia. Okay. Come on. Well, those are all my questions. Thank cool. you so much for your time. You and bet. Work with us. Sure. No problem. Have a great night.